with you, Converse. I'm done. I'm so over this video. Okay, so in past videos and on Twitter, I've mentioned that I was considering doing a video where I try to design custom vans. So you can see from today's title, I did not design custom vans. I'm designing custom Converse. When I went on the Vans website to test if it was accessible, it was not. And don't you worry, before we get to doing the Converse one, I'm gonna show you why the Vans one wasn't accessible. A lot of you have also been requesting in my I Tried Shopping Online series for me to actually show you how I do it, which is what I'm doing in this video. We're gonna be trying to screen record on this, and if it doesn't work, Mesa will be filming the screen on my phone. I'm currently using the Galaxy S10 by Samsung. I have a coral case on it, and it is the like, it's almost like, What's the word I'm looking for? Somebody will comment it. Um, so I'm gonna turn the voice on, which basically I just use the power button and the volume up and... Voice assistant on. I specifically, before filming this, turned the voice really slow because you sighties who aren't used to listening to voices always... Yeah. Oh my God, it sounds so slow to me. I'm doing it for you guys because I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm hearing, but it is, it is so slow. So, um, Mesa just got me to the Vans website, you know, just to make it quick, so I can just quickly show you what's not accessible. I guess I'm screen recording, so I don't really have to show you the screen, but um, I was playing with this a few days ago, so I kind of know where everything is on the screen, so I know the colors are down here, but... Oh, look! It's not talking! <laughs> So I'm guessing what the problem is, is they've used PDFs, which is like an image. And voiceover, voice assistant, talkback, any voice program, JAWS, voice on Zoom text, like whatever accessible computer and phone program you're talking about will not be able to read PDFs. So right away, PDFs are not going to be accessible. Um, so I'm, that's why I'm assuming that's what they've done here is just use PDFs. Voice assistant on. Okay, so you can see. Boxing, heading two. Double, double tap to activate. So it's saying like double tap to activate, but it's not telling me what it's asking me to activate. So I don't know what the button is it's asking me to press. I can scroll through the colors, but I can't, it's not telling me what any of them are. So if I was to design these shoes, like, sure, I could try to do this, but it would literally be like a complete guessing game. It wouldn't actually like be mean anything. But it's kind of, you know, disappointing that Vans aren't accessible because I was hoping to do a backpack and a pair of shoes. So, great, so I can buy them, perfect, but I can't do anything else. Yeah, you get it. This one's not accessible. So let's move on to Converse and get design. Okay, so I'm now on the Converse website. Custom Chuck Taylor All Star High Top Black Link. Custom Chuck Custom Chuck Taylor All Star Low Top Gray Link. Custom. Okay, so I'm going through the custom options. So there's a high top, a low top. Like I said, I grew up a high top girl. Custom light. Wait, custom but like, Chuck if you're changing and customizing it, why is it giving you all the color options? I'm confused. Now the phone is just like not talking at all. This is the problem when you're like browsing new websites or you trying to use new apps when you're a screen reader user is like not everything not everything is accessible and it's just like frustrating because you're like well i'll go here and hope it's accessible patch what's that mean and a patch is on it oh it has a patch on it like a patch on the near the heel what's the patch it looks like it's a it's a flower Custom Chuck Taylor All-Star Platform. Link <gasps> platform! All-Star Platform. Oh, girl. I'm so glad I looked for these. Rock 23%. Oh. Custom Chuck Taylor All-Star Tie-Dye Platform Women's Sneakers. Oh, but I don't want tie-dye. I just, I don't know where things are on the screen. So as a sighted user, you would just be like, oh, there's the button, click. As a blind user, I'm just like, moving my finger around the screen where I think things probably would be, where I'm like, oh, I feel like a tab would be like up here in the corner. So I just have to like 
move around, which is why prior to sitting down to film this video, I knew that I wanted to check the websites out a bit. That's how I found out Vans was not accessible. That's why we checked out Converse. So I, I did play with the customization on Converse prior to filming this, but Mesa, my assistant, got me to the customization page. Like I haven't gone through this part yet, which is why I don't know where things are. So once we get to the customization part, I have a pretty good idea of where things are located on the screen. Oh, double, t double stacked sole. That's what I want. Four foot 10 girl here needs all the height. Four foot 10 and a half. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Edit design. Let Found it. it. Boom. Got it. Outside body, outside body, wait, inside body, inside okay. body, outside so body. So here we have like all the options. So I'm picking the outside body color. And then to move the colors, I'm just gonna take my two fingers and swipe like this. By the way, if you're wondering how my phone reads emojis, I've done two videos on that, so I'll link those below. White color, wait. I think I'm just gonna go for like a sleek white for now and I can always change it later, you know? So I'm gonna accept. And I'm gonna inside body. Black color, wait. Dolphin color, white color, wait. Dolphin color, the color of a dolphin. I did admittedly ask Mesa when I was practicing for this. I was like, "What? What's dolphin color?" She's like, "It's gray." And I was like, "Dolphins are gray." And she was like, "Yes." You know, there's just things as a blind person you don't know. I can't remember. Like, I haven't seen a dolphin for many years, and people, when they talk about dolphins, don't often talk about the color, so. Accept. Button. Accept. Okay, so far my shoes are looking pretty boring, I'm gonna guess, because it's all white. But don't worry, girl, we're gonna get there. Okay, okay Mason, I'm gonna cheat. Are, is the tie-dye pastels or yes, bright? Yes, pastels. Yes, okay, we want the pastel. We want, we want the tie-dye tongue. Accept. Button. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Tongue, tongue, heel stripe, heel stripe. Link. Heel stripe, let's go. Wash lilac. Yeah, wash lilac, that's right. Accent, butter. Heel stripe, heel stripe, lining, lining, link. Lining. Butter yellow color, link. Oh, butter yellow. Activate. Let's do it. Butter yellow color, accent. Okay. Lining, lining, link. Stitch, stitch, link. Let's go with stitching. Wash lilac, link. That's what I want. Accent, butter. Custom Chuck Taylor All-Star Tie-Dye Flaps, Stitch, Stitch, Link. Laces, laces, Link. Laces. Hybrid, Link. I know exactly what I want to do for this. Deposito. Cherry Blossom. Link. Cherry Blossom. I'm guessing it's a, a light pink. Yep. Light Aqua, Link. Accent, Light Aqua, Link. Light Aqua. <laughs> she gets me every time. Maybe I'll go back and make the inside Light Aqua since I really want that color somewhere. Accent, butter. Rose gold. Yeah, we're going rose gold, girl. Mm -hmm. I hope these turn out cute. Laces, laces. Pilots, pilots. Tongue label, tongue label. Tongue label. White slash blue slash red. White slash black. Link. White. Link. We're going all white. Back. Accept. Butter. Tongue label, tongue label. Rubber sidewall, rubber sidewall. Rubber sidewall. I'm guessing that's like. The rubber base? Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like, I think. White, link. I'm just gonna go all white. Accept, button. Rubber sidewall, rubber sidewall, sidewall text, sidewall text, link. Rubber sidewall, tongue label, tongue label. Rubber side, sidewall text. So you can put text on them, which I definitely am going to. Fierce, fierce, fearless, female, black. Face, fierce, link. fearless, female. Kind of love that a little bit, but let's see what our other options are. Raise your voice. Summer goals, black print. Summer goals. I mean, these kind of would be summer goals. Summertime and the living is easy print. <laughs> Summertime and the living is easy. Beach, oh, S Z N, like beach season, but it's beach season. <laughs> right. Short forms, obviously, my phone like can't really read, so. Okay. I like the first one. Fierce, fearless, female. Yeah, we're going fierce, fierce. Fierce, fearless, female. It's a tongue twister right there. Make sure I selected the right one. Minus, not link. Fierce, fearless, female, black grid. Yeah. Accept, button. It might be in black, but that's kind of cute. It'll be like the one bold piece of it. I'm guessing it just lets me put my own text. Mm -hmm, I think so. Instead of like the fierce female thing. Yeah, but it looks like this might be on the actual shoe. Oh. I kind of like it on the chunky sole, though. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to leave that. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to my interior and do that light aqua since every time I heard it, I was like, ugh, my heart. What colors are in the tie dye? Um, I, it was like pink, yellow, blue, pastel. Maybe there was some green in there. I can't quite remember. Okay, so we stopped screen recording because my phone was getting super overloaded and it's like really hot now. Um, but I'm done my shoe anyways, so you saw the important thing. So I clicked done. I'm going to click add to cart. Oh, I didn't select my size. Good one, Molly. Converse official site. Converse.com. Web heat 100%. Turn up the heat. Heading 1. Converse link. Where it says Converse link, if you follow that all the way to the right, like with your finger. See, this is why I don't show you guys this in every video I shop on because like it's this tedious. And for my shopping, like I tried shopping on series for all these different stores. Some of these stores take me hours, hours. I can't even tell you how much time I've spent. For these, I've sh like I tried shopping series. Does it say if it's my size five? Because I can't figure out where it to confirm that. Yes, got it. Great. Check out. Check out. Shipping information. And we'll say goodbye to you now. I hope you guys had fun designing Converse with me. Let me know other stores you want to see me shop at next. What you want to see from me in this? I tried shopping series. And I'll see you in a bit with my new custom platform, Converse, designed by me, a blind girl. <sighs> I have a new couch. And I have a new couch because it's three months later. <laughs> and it's not because my shoes took three months to make. Like, I get it. I made custom shoes. It's going to take a while. In fact, it's supposed to take, like, six weeks or less. And the first pair did. <laughs> so, we get the notification a couple weeks after we filmed all that stuff you just saw. And it said, your package is being shipped. And we tracked the package. It like took a while. They shipped this slow. This was no express mail. They were taking their snail mail time. And we see the date that it's going to come. And it, it didn't arrive. So we're like, okay, well, maybe it's gonna come back. Didn't arrive. So we go and we check through the Converse website, our info, and it's like package sent back to sender. So we called UPS and we called Converse. And apparently my apartment number was not on the shipping, which it was. And so Converse says, that they've sent them back to their warehouse and there's no way of retrieving them. Which, I don't know if they're just gonna destroy them, which is a damn shame and a damn waste of product. I really hope the stuff that goes back to that warehouse that they can't sell, like, gets donated somewhere. But unfortunately, knowing the fashion industry, I feel like that's probably not the case. Which makes me very sad. And they said, the only thing I could do is completely remake them and reorder them. That took me so much time. So my wonderful assistant, Mesa, reviewed the footage and as she watched the footage, designed the shoe. So if I do open these and there's like a detail off that you were like, wait, when she was making them, it was like pink stitching and now it's purple or whatever. Then it's Converse's fault because Mesa did it perfectly. <laughs> okay, Mesa. <laughs> because this was a nightmare. Oh, and they gave us a 20% off coupon for our troubles. <laughs> Thanks, Converse. Molly, like, losing any opportunity to work with Converse ever. We placed that order, and you better believe we triple-checked that that apartment number was on our order. Another six weeks go by. <laughs> Mesa just, like, can't handle this. <laughs> no, I'm hysterical at this point. <laughs> I've lost it. Lost it! <laughs> so another six weeks go by, and we get another, like, Converse has shipped your shoes. And so once again, it's, like, stale mail city. And we're tracking our damn package for the last, like, three weeks of my life. It's, like, it's going to be delivered on the 25th. It's 
gonna be delivered on the 28th. It's gonna be delivered on, like it keeps like slowly pushing the date back. And you better believe we continue to keep checking every day because we're like, we're not missing this package. So we check yesterday and it said, attempt to be delivered failed because there's no apartment number. We call UPS. UPS informs us that there is no apartment number. And we're like, well, look, even if there's no apartment number, you should have just left it at my leasing office like the instructions say, because with the same Molly Burke on the package, like my apartment, the leasing office knows they would just bring it to me. And they're like, it doesn't say Molly Burke on the package. And we're like, whose name does it say? It says my assistant May says name. And we go to the Converse website to our like shipping order information and it says package for Molly Burke, not Mesa Cronhouse. So we don't know how on earth <laughs> this has happened. And so we get on the phone with Converse and thankfully this time the woman was far more understanding and apologetic and quite frankly baffled as to why this has happened because she's like, I'm looking at your order it says the apartment number and it says Molly Burke. Her name was Melissa. She was really nice. Shout out to Melissa. Thank you. <laughs> so she's like, give me a minute. I'm going to go talk to some people and we're going to try to sort this out. Oh, and by the way, we gave UPS. We were like, okay, can you please? Like, they were like, we're going to attempt one more time tomorrow. So I was like, please put the apartment number. So they did, and you could even see like it's all blacked out now because you know safety. But we could see when they when we got it, it said my unit number, but there was like another sticker clearly underneath it that they had stuck that over yesterday. So thank God it was delivered. But Melissa goes off, she comes back, she's like, I hate to be a broken record, it seems like it might be UPS's problem, which is what they told us last time. They're like, It's on UPS, it wasn't us, we gave them all the correct information. And then she goes away and she comes back and she goes, actually, it does appear to be our fault. Thank you for bringing this to our attention and we're going to work on how Converse sends over our delivery and order information to UPS next time. Here's a 20% off discount for your troubles. So now I get another lovely 20% off discount. So I really hope you appreciate this video. <laughs> Because it has been a struggle and a half to make. And without further ado, we're going to open my shoes. And I, I'm i just like, are these going to be like size 8? Is it going to be like daisies? Like, what have, what have they done? It's not, even, it's not even packaged nicely. Literally. It's just an empty box. They didn't even have, like, there's not even my order form. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like, it's literally an empty box. That's it. I'm going to, like, that's not nicely wrapped. But, oh my God, I was like, is there no laces? Did they not give me laces? <laughs> okay, so it should be tie-dye, pastel tie-dye. Yes. And it should have stuff written here. It does. It's supposed to say fierce, fearless female. It is, yeah. Um, it says ears, arless female. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, you're joking. No. No, you're Wait, joking. Hold it up. It says, ears are less female, fierce, fearless. It says, <laughs> I'm done with you, Converse. I'm done. I'm so over this video. You best believe I will be calling Converse. I just can't believe it. We're going to call them and they're going to be like, well, the only way we can send a new order is if you just Custom recreate it. Again. <laughs> I want a refund. <laughs> I just want a refund. That's all I want. I don't want a 20% off code. Save your 20% off. I don't even want a 20% off code with my disc, with like with my refund. I just want my refund. That's it. I'm, I don't. <laughs> Next month. You guys, I came out with my own shoe line with Converse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did these ones say? Those are... Oh, no! <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> it says... Fierce, fearless, female. Fierce, fierce. <laughs> wait, is it just... Is it cut off or is it spelled no, wrong? It's spelled wrong. It says F-E-A-E-S-S. -S. <laughs> How do they spell this stuff wrong? <laughs> Is it just like a print thing that they like stamp? Yeah, it should. Like it's, be. it's not. I'm sure this is not hand. 
painted. Like, how did they, like, I thought maybe it was just cut off, but it's actually just spelt wrong. Oh, it's wrong. Converse. Converse, what are you doing with your life? Just don't offer this service. Let's look deeper because hopefully that's the only flaw. Okay, so it is a platform. They got that right. Do they have the stripe up the back? They do, it's lavender. Cute, and then the shoe is white with rose gold? Yes. And what color is the stitching? Uh, purple as well, like lavender. Right, and the inside? Like a teal. Okay. Aqua something. And the tie dye. And the colors awesome. kind of go with the... Yeah, I think they look really cute other than the misspelling. <laughs> so as long as somebody doesn't look close at my feet... Right. We're good. I honestly, I, I'm shocked. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, she's blind. She, she just thought they're wrong. <laughs> it's not like I typed it in. Like, it wasn't a custom request. Yeah. It was like one of their options. <laughs> like, if I had done a custom request and I spelt it wrong, like, that's on me. Right. Okay. No. This was entirely on them. And what color are the laces? Pink. Okay, good. All right. These are them. They do fit. They are comfortable. I like the platform style a lot. Um, I mean, they're pink and purple, and they're pastel, and they're white. So my entire wardrobe is pastel, pink and purple, and white goes with everything. So these are like definitely a huge win for my wardrobe. Like I think they're super cute if nobody looks too close. I just don't know where to go from here. Do you know what's crazy too? When we called to complain the first time, like Mesa was the one chatting to them. And she's like, just so you know, like she's a YouTuber. She's gonna be doing a video on this. So you'd think like a lot of companies, right or wrong, a lot of companies will treat you differently in that circumstance. Like they'll go above and beyond that extra mile to make sure you get like your product really fast or it's not like they'll like, but like they did, they clearly didn't care whatsoever that this was gonna be shared with everybody. Like they were like, cool. Which leads me to be like, if they didn't, if they messed up my first order and they've clearly messed up this order, how do they treat everybody else? If you want me to test custom vans, I know I said, or any other like custom shoe, I know I said at the beginning of this video that the websites weren't accessible, which is still true. But if you want, like I could do it, say like I could tell Mesa or something what I want and she could get them delivered. Um, and that way we're not necessarily testing, like showing you how I do it, but I'd still be designing it from my head and we'd be able to test if the other companies who make custom sneakers do it better than Converse and praise Jesus, they better. All right, future Molly popping in here with another update. Wow, Converse, just wow. So you guys know at this point that they completely messed up the second order we made. Now we had to make that order, like Mesa had to go in and fully recreate the shoe because remember, they told us there was no way of retracing the design. Keep that in mind here. Now, after we filmed this botched video reveal, we called them and you best believe Mesa had a word or two to say to them. And they were like, we can't give you a refund. And they wanted me to send the shoes back. So to go out of my way, I would have to wait for them to send me a return thing. Then I'd have to go out of my way to return the shoes to them. And then they could remake me some. Or at that point, they could give me a refund. But they could not give me a refund without me sending the shoes back to them. So they could research what went wrong. They could research <laughs> what went wrong. And I was like, okay, well, I can send you all the photo and video evidence because I've got lots. Um, anyways, we had lengthy arguments. We went to supervisors and managers and all up the chain and around the block. And finally, after much negotiation, a lot of arguments and Mesa heavily pulling the YouTuber card, they finally agreed to send me a new pair. But here's the thing, we didn't have to remake them. What? They said before that there was zero way 
they would be able to figure out my custom design. So we had to redesign them. But now, no problem. We'll remake the shoes and get them sent off to you. And on top of that, there was no like, oh, this six week wait period because they're custom made. They came to me within two weeks. Converse, I've got questions. Here's my new shoe. We inspected it heavily. They are completely fine. It says, what does it say? <laughs> Fierce, fearless female. Fierce, fearless female. It says it perfectly on both shoes, both sides of both shoes. Um, all the other details are correct. We've got the rose gold eyelets, eye holes, whatever they're called. We've got the purple on the back, purple stitching, pink laces, and the tie-dye tongue, and the mint green turquoise aqua, whatever you want to call it, on the inside. Um, Mesa said this tongue is significantly less tie-dyed and vibrant, but I believe it was the same on the others as well, like one shoe had more vibrant tongue. So if you're a size five and you want my botched shoes, since I have no need for them, comment below and let me know if you were to design custom shoes, what would they look like? Would you go to custom order your shoes? Would you risk it? Would you? Okay, back to, back, back to past Molly to end the video out. That's it, that's the end of this video. I have nothing left to say for you, Converse, but I'm about to jump on a call with you.